Hello and welcome back. I had a request to show a demo of how to install uh, MariaDB. Um, for those not uh, that familiar with it, it's basically a, a MySQL replacement. Um, there was a, uh, a fork off from it, I think about a year ago, maybe a little bit longer. Um, once Oracle bought MySQL, there were some concerns of what direction it would go, if it would fall underneath uh, you know, different licensing and stuff like that through Oracle uh, being... Uh, uh, you know, as big of a company as that they are, so they actually uh, uh, forked it off, and it's called MariaDB, and it's basically set up the same way. It's you know, it's supposed to be compatible uh, for everything that I've read to them. You know, every everything, you know, for like the database and stuff like that, and the tools and stuff like that. So there's really not that big of a difference between the two, other than one is open source, and the other one is, you know, still open source but but owned by Oracle. Um, so let's go quickly through that, and basically what I have to do is uh, add a repo, and that repo will be. Uh, so that we can install the uh, MariaDB packages. And we'll just call it uh, Maria. Now this install is for uh, 6.5. Um, the biggest thing I can say is that you'll probably need to look at if you have different versions is uh, to change it to uh, whatever version here at CentOS 6, but uh, you can change it to, I believe, Fedora, and there's other uh, things available for like CentOS.5 and stuff like that along the same lines. Uh, but you can go to that uh, website, just go to http yum.mariadb.org, and then 5.5, and then uh, it'll have a listing of which one. So basically, you just need to change that line. Um, all that looks good. I quit. Then let's do a uh, update. The yum update, and then we'll have that uh, get those. Okay, so it's installed some, updated some, other stuff. Now this is just just the initial part. We haven't actually installed the uh, uh, client and server yet, so let's uh, clear here to clear up the screen a little bit. Now we're going to install the client as well as the server. Okay, looks like those have installed. Next thing we want to do is uh, just check the uh, check the list and see what they name this. I wasn't sure if it was going to be MySQL or, or Maria, but they actually. <laughs> They're not, uh, they have the MySQL on here, so let's do a uh, service start uh, MySQL. Start and starting up MySQL, or MariaDB, I should say. And uh, looks like we're, we're started, everything looks good there. And here we can see that it's uh, version 15.1. Uh, distribution 5.5.35. I'm just going to do a, a quick uh, check. You know, we can go into the, the MySQL client and then uh, just uh, show databases. And we can see that there's the database and everything looks fine there. Um, we're going to have to install the Apple. Um, Repo basically is just another repo that uh, will allow us to install PHP MyAdmin. And let's see, it's installed it, or it's downloaded it. And we're going to install that. Get a repo list. We should have Apple, we should have uh, MariaDB. Admin. So that. Say yes to the key signature. Okay, we're also going to edit a, a configuration file, and we're going to comment out all of this. Okay, okay we're going to rename a file in here, edit that file, and here for type, Authentication, we're going to change it from cookie to HTTP.
we need to make sure that the web server is running. And that started. And then let's try logging in. Even here we can see that it tells you it's uh, running Miria DB in the version. And that's uh, pretty much it. Once you have the uh, web uh, GUI interface, it's quite easy to use, export. Um, you can do all sorts of stuff, much more powerful. You can do it from the command line as well, but I know a lot of people like to administrate from the uh, uh, web or from a, uh, a GUI type. And uh, that concludes the installation of MyriaDB, um, checking the database a little bit from the command line, and then also installing the uh, web interface to uh, control and, and access the uh, database uh, to create tables, to do queries, and all, and all the other uh, different things that you would need to do uh, for database administration. Thank you. Hope you enjoyed that. And uh, if you have any other questions or recommendations, time, anything, please let me know and uh, leave a comment. Thanks a lot. Enjoy the night.